Congratulations. You, you become a millionaire overnight. <laughs> Mọi người thấy không, ở Oklahoma City mình có thể own một cái apartment 14 units với 4 units mà chỉ cần có 625 ngàn mà that is just the total, that's the cost but I can tell how much you love real estate Look at that Xin chào mọi người, hôm nay Trinh đang ở um, Oklahoma City à, đứng trước uh, một cái apartment của hai bạn trẻ rất là dễ thương à, Sơn Sơn Trần và uh, Nick. Um, what's your last name, Nick? Trần. Nick Trần. Yes. Well, can you please um, introduce uh, yourself and tell us about you? How you get into Oklahoma City and how do you get into investment? Uh, chào mọi người. Um, Sơn uh, đến um, ở ở Mỹ từ chừng bốn năm nay thôi. Và in the past uh, three years, I started investing. So my career is very short in real estate. Um, the first, the first property I bought is like a single home, and then two months later, I, I was driving around. I do a lot of hustles, and I look for like a fourplex, and I found it on the street. And it's really, really wonderful that we found the cash flow benefit of it, and we love multi-family since then. And this property is one of the example that uh, really cash flowing. We're trying to provide. Um, affordable housing to people, um, improve the quality of life, and you know, as as a good landlord um, to the tenants. So Nick is Sir's husband, and congratulations to you too for a one year anniversary. And Nick has a very interesting background too. He's not from here, and you're you're in uh, school taking a getting a your PhD degree. So please tell us about your background. Yeah, so I'm from South Carolina, from the East Coast, and I moved to Oklahoma here six years ago to, to study um, astronomy. And then last year, or a little bit more than a year ago, I met Sun, and he taught me about real estate. And since then, we've kind of just helped each other grow. It's big enough to take the place that we can like, really help each other. Like, I can tell how much you love real estate. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> This is, and this is just here, right? Just yeah, here just this, here. You know how excited we were to hold this key <laughs> a year ago. We took this picture right here, right here. Oh. exactly right here for this key. Okay, so next time we come, the, the ring is bigger yes. and more keys, yes. right? It's like It'll 100 units of apartments. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're so excited. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank, thank you. you for having us here. Oh, of course, thank All you. Right. Thank you. Cái biểu hiện này là Sơn với Nick mua được uh, một năm rồi và có thể uh, cho mọi người biết cái giá mua được bao nhiêu Sơn? Uh, thì lúc mà mình uh... This, this deal is on the market. It's been on the market like for two, three weeks and nobody pay attention to it. It was listed for like 600,000 and with, then we sent in the offer 600 and we got rejected. We said, oh, we have an offer of 620. Um, so, sorry. <laughs> so we were about Sorry. to give up. We were about, about to, to give, give up. up. Said, oh my God, we lost that deal. Um, so then, my friend in Austin, thanks to her that she pushed us. Like, no, call them back. Call them back. Offer them. Offer them seven hundred and talk about that later. Like, just get on a contract and talk about that later. So, luckily we didn't offer seven hundred. We offered six twenty-five. And you got it. <laughs> and we got it. Awesome, congratulations! So, 625, we got it, but then other contract, and we go to due diligence, uh -huh. and we use that tool to negotiate, and we tell them credit for that because you don't have the complete rent roll. Oh, so you get it back so, even further. It, so we got it, yeah, we got it at 625 with 10,000 credits, so 615. Um, 615 and the highest offer that time was 620. We beat them but at a lower price. Nick, mọi người thấy không? Ở Oklahoma City, mình có thể own một cái apartment 14 units với 4 units mà chỉ cần có 625 ngàn. Mà that is just the total, that's the cost. But what's the down payment? How many percent would you down payment if you don't want to carry? So um, our bank normally lend uh, 75 percent and we with 25% down, but because of this um, location, this is more affordable area, so they asked us to finance and put down 35%. So 35% growth? Yeah, 35% is like right. 100, like nearly 200. Nearly, yeah. you can get 200,000 down payment, thưa quý vị. Mm. Là quý vị có thể own được một cái apartment 
see how um, the dream can nhưng come true for nhưng investors. Mà, nhưng mà we are, we are also very creative too. Mm -hmm. So like we have a lot of deals and we don't want to use a lot of um, our own liquid cash. Mm -hmm. cash. So um, one of the ways is to use the equities that you have from the properties from that you bought. Property. Just other properties that we, we bought and then liquid that and then you we'll combine it together. Yeah, combine it together. So, Eventually, we didn't we didn't put any money into this deal. So smart! <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. All right. Can you show us some rooms? Uh, mm -hmm. How many um, two bedrooms and three bedrooms? All these units are two bed and one and a half bath. Mm -hmm. um, Fourteen units. Um, the rent when we bought was six hundred um, a month, and now the rent is five eight fifty. Yeah. So you bought it at the cap rate of a cap rate of seven point five. Seven point five. Yeah. But now with that increase of price, it's yes. probably close to what, 10? Yeah. ten. Ten. Yeah. Close to ten. <laughs> and if you sell it and you lower it to seven, it's that you make property. you make uh, four five hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Congratulations! <laughs> you you become a million now overnight. <laughs> Can you tell us what have you done so far since, mm -hmm. since you bought this? Yes, yeah, so we've renovated about half of the units so far. Mm -hmm. um, so we try to go in and put in luxury laminate flooring, repaint the walls, and try to update any kind of old fixtures in the house just to make it nice for the new tenants to come in. Um, because we try to rent out nicer but affordable housing for, for the Population. Yeah, right. even though this this is uh, an affordable area, but we try to give comfort. We got to give good material to them so that they can last long. Um, we're not trying to be cheap. Slum <laughs> yeah, not, not a slum <laughs> so and, uh, yeah. and unlike a lot of apartments around here, every every single one of these units has HVAC, their own central HVAC. All central HVAC. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So that's how you add value yeah. by improving the property, increasing the rent. Mm -hmm. And you target the different uh, tenants, yeah. different kind of tenants as well. Yeah. Yeah. And are you planning to do something from the outside as well? Yeah, yeah. Um, so the the first plan that we impl already implemented, we installed a new uh, metal fence oh, to, okay. to make the people here feel a little bit more safe in their community. Okay. Um, we repaired all the fencing around the property as well. Mm -hmm. And then the next uh, two things we are going to do this year is we're going to repaint and reface the outside of all the buildings. Mm -hmm. And we're going to install a high security system um, for all the buildings just to make everyone feel pretty safe here. It, it feels very nice here, but private and, mm -hmm. and, and safe. And yeah. It's just like maybe a little bit of hedging. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and, uh, that would make it really yeah. Cool. <laughs> all right, let's go inside and see the room. All right. So this is two bedrooms. This is two bedrooms, one bath. Oh, yeah, you're renovating this room. right now? Mm -hmm. So I, I was going to ask how many um, uh, occupancy units. Oh, uh, when we first bought, it's occupied. It's two, fourteen units and ten units are occupied. So we have four vacancy, uh -huh. but right now we have only one. This one. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. So as people move out, you renovate it, and you move it, and then you start to new it. Yeah, yeah. And how long the tenants here usually stay? We have some here that have been here for six years, mm -hmm. um, and we have some that have just moved in. So the average right now is about a year. Mm -hmm. okay. We work with uh, Section A to provide um, housing for our low-income uh, tenants. Mm -hmm. So this this is a way to give back to the community too. And how, how do you like the experience working with Section A tenants? Uh, the tenants themselves are okay. Section A, depending on where you're at, can be a little more work to deal with. Um, with the paperwork with process. With the paperwork process, yeah. but once you get the system in place, once you know what they look for, once you get the inspections on, it's a breeze. Mm -hmm. It's just yeah. the, the, all the setup in the beginning. And the payment is automatic. Yeah, yeah, it's on the first day of the month. And they don't want to mess up because yeah, they right. can get kicked out. Or, exactly. So yeah. they, they like wine home. <laughs> <laughs> so and, not, and not many people in Oklahoma City are accepting Section 8 vouchers. So we are one of the few accepting them. And if they lose the voucher, they lose the place here, it's very hard to find another place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you increase rent for Section 8? Once a year, you can request Section 8 to increase the rent, and then they will uh, compare with surrounding rentals, and then they increase for you. 
Okay. You just need to get their phone book. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. All right, show us around. <laughs> so this is two bedroom uh, apartment. Um, you have one bedroom with pool closet, window, big windows. Wow, this yeah. is Yeah. Yeah, we, um, we just finished the renovation, so um, it gives us for all the dirt on the floor and all that, but it's just brand new, brand, brand new and fresh paint. Yeah, all over. I can smell it. <laughs> yeah. I can smell the paint too. Yeah. Do you guys do the work at all? Or you hire no, we have a team with us uh, mm -hmm. to help us. Um, with all the projects. Mm -hmm. So, thankfully, luckily, we found a good team mm -hmm. and uh, we really appreciate their work. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's the key point of. Um, don't, make a, don't make a PhD degree <laughs> person to paint your house. But that's, that's his plan. Because, <laughs> like, when I finish my PhD, I want to go out and work with one of our best contractors. To learn? To learn from them. And then take the job from them. <laughs> no. And make a corporation. No, to, to better manage them. Yeah. Because <laughs> we, want, we want to develop a crew. Because right now we have a small crew of people. And that limits how much you can grow. Uh -huh. If you have five crew, you can only work on five projects. Uh -huh. But if you have ten crew, uh -huh. then you can work on ten projects. So being able to you know, understand what the work is needed, you can better manage those people. Of course, of course. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Let's go to the next one. The next one. So that's another room. Yeah, this yeah, this is a little smaller. This is a little smaller, but all the rooms has a uh, closet and uh, big windows. Yeah, yeah. And full air conditioning. Full, full and central air yeah. And uh, one bedroom. One bathroom upstairs. And, uh, this is the one bathroom the unit. Yeah. Two bathroom yeah. working. Yeah. In progress. Wow, very roomy for a family. And then uh, additionally, so there's many ways to make a deal work and there's many ways to find extra bits of income and extra bits of cash flow without hurting tenants in place. So the ways we kept the tenants at the same market rent, but it actually increased the cash flow of the place that seems like it doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. Each of the garages now we separated from the unit and we rent them separately. So, so it used to belong to the unit? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. And now we rent them for $100 a piece, which is like a whole extra unit. So it's effectively, instead of 14 units, it's effectively 15. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's so actually 16, because we have uh, 100 per unit times six, six garages. And How many garages do you have? Six garages. Oh, six garages. And then you rent it separately, whoever mm -hmm. wants to rent it. Yeah. The yeah, tenants will say, I want to protect my car, I want to put mm -hmm. my car in the garage. Oh, you give that option. Yeah, yes, yeah. Because option. if you attach it to the unit, mm -hmm. if what if that person don't want the garage, right? Yeah. Because somebody else lives somewhere yeah. in the garage. Yeah. That's awesome. And then we also offer it exclusively to tenants here. So we yeah, don't offer it to others. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And the uh, rent is $100 a month mm -hmm. for each garage. For each garage. Uh, yeah. Very affordable. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. when when you put in a place and you say $800, mm -hmm. uh, just $100 extra for the garage. Because, yeah, I want it because yeah. it's helped my car. It's and not it's just the car, but then maybe room just the yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we check the garage later? Uh, they're all on they the side, so we can have open the garages. Um, but how many parkings total? There's about 20 parking spaces. Oh, so it's more than one per unit? Yes, some okay. of the tenants has two cars. So yeah. is it assigned or a person? No, it's first and first. Oh, that's okay. one of the revenues, but we haven't implemented yet that we dedicate a parking to each tenant. So we have dedicated yeah. parking and dedicated parking over there? Yes. Maybe that's the thing that you yeah. can um, dedicate only one parking per unit. Mm -hmm. Um, and then there's no fighting, right? Yeah. And also the extra ones you can cover and rent it out. Yeah. Also, the next revenue we can look into is the Wi Fi for all the tenants, mm -hmm. Wi Fi, and internet, and live stream. Yes, because TV. you can get discount exactly. rates yeah. and you give it back to the tenant instead yeah. of each of them paying a higher rate. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, smart! <laughs> Thank you so much, Sun and Nick, yeah. for um, giving the TIA this uh, interview. Mm -hmm. This is a real inspiration for the community, the real estate the investment um, uh, community. Mấy bạn thấy không? Không có cần phải có rất là nhiều tiền, chỉ cần 
à, có cái passion having a love có cái tình yêu về bất động sản và có người dẫn đường thì mình yeah. có thể làm được tất cả mm. ok thank you so much thank you yeah. sir thank you for your time bye bye, bye, bye.